Welcome to Ruby Thursday. I'm Melissa Wanish. In this episode, Ruby Snack number 23, in a continuation from Ruby Snack number 22, I'll be showing you how to save images on Amazon S3 while using the Froala WYSIWYG. In this episode, we will install the Froala image plugin, configure the app to use Amazon S3, add cores configuration on Amazon, and then edit the show view to allow images from Amazon. If you'd like to code along, you just need a Rails app created, Froala installed, and an AWS account. So if you don't have Froala installed, go ahead and check out Ruby Snack number 22, where I show you how to do that. First up, we'll install Froala image plugin. We just need to add one line to our application JS for the file upload min JS. And then we need to add that button on the form so that we can upload the image. Opening up our text editor, we'll go into app, assets, JavaScripts, application JS, and we'll add it after the fro ala editor min JS. We'll add that file upload. Then we'll go to view, and then crew members is the form that we have it on. So we'll go on down and we'll just add it after the last button. There we go. Next, we need to configure the app to use Amazon S3, which takes quite a few steps. First up, we will add an initializer that will include our access key ID, our secret access key. You see we're using environmental variables. I'll be handling that with the Figaro gem. You can handle it however you like. Our bucket, and then we're gonna say that it's a public read and it will respond to uploads. Then we'll need to add a file called Amazon Signature. And I have here a link to the gist that I used when installing this on my app. Now we'll go ahead and add these new files. We'll go to config, initializers, and add a new file. And we'll save that as AWS config, all caps. That will match our other files and what they're calling. And now we'll paste in the code that we need. Now we'll take a look at that GIST. It's a module for the Amazon signature has a lot of great stuff about connecting to Amazon and making sure you have a signature that Amazon will trust. So we'll copy that and then make a new file in lib, new file, and then save that as Amazon signature dot RB. And we'll paste in all that lovely, awesome information to create that data hash that Amazon will use. Now we need to include this in our controller for crew members. So we'll include the Amazon signature and then define the hash as the Amazon signature data hash. Now we need to set up the application to load the, all of the files in lib. They don't automatically do that in case lib is empty. So we need to add this line to the application RB. Back in our text editor, we'll open up controllers and then the crew members controller. And right under class crew members controller, we'll add include Amazon signature. And then we need to add the hash to new, to the new method, and then the create method to be sure that it creates with that hash. And next we need to go to application RB and we'll just scroll all the way down and add it at the bottom. Add the config to load up that lib folder and save. Now, if you are using Figaro in your app, if you've been following along with the different episodes, then we'll need to update our application YML with, with your AWS access key ID and secret access key. And then you'll need to add the gem Figaro to the gem file and bundle because I didn't do that in the episode with Figaro. And so we need to now to make sure it runs in development as well as in production. Let's open up that application YML document in our config folder. And I'm just gonna paste in right there under default, make sure I don't have any tabs, only spaces. And I'm gonna add Figaro. You guys know how to bundle. Go ahead and bundle that up. 
Now back to some fun stuff of adding the JS to our form so that it will communicate with Amazon. So we're gonna add this chunk of JS to our form view. Image upload to S3 is provided by the Fro a la plugin. And then we just need to fill out these other things. Be sure to get the region correct because otherwise that will definitely cause errors. Heading back to our crew member form. We simply wanna make sure it's inside of the editable method and we'll just paste that right in. Now that our app is configured to talk to Amazon, we need to tell Amazon that yes, indeed, we are allowed to see those images. So we need to add a cores configuration. Now cores is cross origin resource sharing. And according to Wikipedia, it is a mechanism that allows restricted resources, for example, fonts and in our case images, on a web page to be requested from another domain outside the domain from which the resource originated. So these images are gonna live on Amazon, but we're gonna be requesting them from somewhere else. So we need to have this definition so it will work. You can actually include several allowed origins. I'm just gonna go with localhost for now, but you could have several lines, localhost, your staging site, and your production site. Go ahead and log into your Amazon account. I'm gonna now add my bucket to my Amazon account. I'm gonna call it Ruby Thursday Fro a la. And I like to use US standard. So I'm gonna use that and then create. Remembering that these buckets need to be unique. Now let's look at the properties for this bucket. And then we go to permissions and then add cores configuration. So they give you one, let's replace that the one with the one that we wrote and save. Finally, we need to let our view know that we trust these things that are coming from Amazon. So we need to say sanitize false for our simple format so that it allows the image to show. One more time back in our text editor, we will open up the show page for Starship. That's where we're looking at the crew member bio. We can just add that simple little line and save that. Let's take it for a test drive. All right, I used R2D2 last time. Let's add C3PO this time. Let's put them in science, why not? I know, again, I'm mixing up my sci-fi. I'm gonna paste in, again, from Wikipedia, some description. And now let's add that image. So we see we have our new button. I'm gonna go to my desktop. I got a nice image of 3CPO, and we'll upload, and there it is, ta-da, great. And you can see you can add with Froala some titles or different things to arrange the image. We're just gonna go ahead and finish up adding this crew member. And we save. And now here is our view. And we have our lovely picture of 3CPO. I used this link for an issue that was reported on the Froala WYSIWYG Rails repository. It gave me a lot of that code for the AWS config and the module. Feel free to check it out and see other things that people mention. Thank you so much for watching. If you are not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, you can click on that big red button to do so. And if you have any comments or questions, please be sure to leave a comment below. If you are not already on my mailing list, head on over to rubythursday.com by clicking on that red ruby so you can get more Ruby Thursday awesomeness in your inbox. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.